Good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning and uh, we're going to take you along on the chores that we have. Uh, so the first thing up is uh, we've moved the chickens again. So originally the chickens were in this area when we moved them out of the hothouse. Well, they were originally around the hothouse to begin with, but then we moved them here into their uh, uh, summer camp. Then we moved them over here. You can see there's a progression in terms of the regeneration. Um, here's where all the, the tents and all that kind of stuff were to begin with, and we've been raking on it, etc. But here you can see that there's been um, a fair amount of work done by the chickens on the ground itself. They've been enriching the soil by pooping on it and uh, also uh, uh, eating uh, from the vegetation and uh, tilling in the ground. Uh, so you see depressions. So this particular depression was where they were doing um, some of their sand baths, etc., to get, get rid of um, a variety of, of uh, ticks and uh, other kinds of uh, parasites that uh, uh, prey upon them. Um, here's where we had them last week. So we've moved them out this morning. Um, I prepared a, a new area and uh, you can see that they have done a pretty good job um, working through the grass, etc. Some, some weeds they do not like. So the taller weeds that you see, and they're almost all one species, uh, they do not care for, and so they just leave them. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, we've moved them into this new area here. Um, so that this is just this morning, and uh, we've got them working on the area already. You can see that they've been starting to trample down uh, the materials. I would expect that most of the, the carrots that you're seeing, so the carrot tops, uh, are actually going to be uh, eaten fairly quickly, and then they'll work on the grasses. But they were already this morning working on, uh, early this morning anyways, they were working on a, uh, a toad that I didn't think was a great idea. Toads can have toxins in their skin, and so I removed the toad, saved his life I guess. Um, the chicken was going at it pretty aggressively. And so we'll see what they do uh, in terms of uh, eating in, in the property itself. Looks like we've got other helpers coming along. Um, so I intend to actually spend some time over there in the hothouse. Um, but I uh, will keep you uh, up to date as we're going along. Talk to you soon. Hey there, Trisha from East Marsh Acres here. So a little bit of a work day today on Saturday. Um, so today we are, I clipped up all the cucumbers and tomatoes. So last week we, we put these vines here and now I'm clipping them to, because they've grown already probably three, four inches. So clipping them up along here and uh, so this one and uh, so what these clips do you clip them that bendy part into the into the you want to show one yeah sure so you put the that in the that into the string and then you clip it around the plant so the string will stay there so the clip will actually then hold the plant so it did the same thing on the tomatoes it worked really well so if you're looking for them online, they're called tomato clips. And uh, yeah, look how much they've grown already, these cucumbers. And look at all the blossoms. that we've got. <clears throat> so I found out this week, so this here is a female blossom, so it has already fruit growing. And then if you have a blossom like this, right here, that has, whoops, 
blossom like this here that does not have a fruit growing that's a male one so if the two blossoms when that comes open and hopefully a bee will go from one to the other and fertilize it so this one here is a male um, have any females yet got a female down here so if they're close together, having the male and the female, that's great. And hopefully, so I'm hoping that in this area, the butterflies will get in. That's a female. And right there's a male. And here's a male. So hopefully they'll get fertilized. If I find that the fruit after this oh shoot, is not growing well, then I will, you can self fertilize or help them along as well too. You just get a q-tip and you just dab it on the male one and then dab it onto the female and you're doing what the bees are going to do. So uh, anyways keep an eye on them. Last year I didn't pay attention to that at all and we got tons of cucumbers so but I'm just wondering if because we're in the hoop house that the bees are going to get in here. So, anyways, we, uh, Rollins been busy hoeing weeds out of the garden. Did you already give an update on what you did? Pardon? Did you give an update on what you did? No, I didn't. Okay. So look at the potatoes coming up here and the beans along here. So he's just been hoeing between the rows, the weeds. And then we've got tons of squashes and pumpkins and watermelons all coming up. And look at over there our zucchinis. They look like they are getting um, blossoms and blooms as well. So we will have to see how many zucchinis we're going to get. We were overwhelmed again last year. So, um, as well, we had a big kind of a thunderstorm this week and the tent we put up blew over. So we put it back up and we put some guy wires on it this time. Um, this morning, we moved the chickens from over there. You can see what they did for us there in clearing the land, and now we put them there. So they love it with the grasses because it gives them some shade and places to pet. Now Roland went over here, especially in the onion row. So you can see the onions are coming up. <coughs> That's after two weeks. What? Oh. Thank you. I think Rachel just went with the girls, so. Yeah, did you guys stick around here, bud? Yeah. So after two weeks, the onions have all come up. Our garlic is doing really well. Starting to get scapes. So we'll pick those in a little bit so it doesn't put its energy into the flowers and it puts it into the into the bulbs. And uh, the kale is starting to grow slowly. And uh, as well as the cabbages down the row. Um, yeah. And here's some kale that or something missed. Anyways, there's red cabbages, then white cabbages, and we have pak choy at the end, which is getting nicely eaten by the rabbits. So here is our carrot row, and they just started germinating. So they're just coming up now. The whole row looks like it's germinated, so that's great. So we'll have this whole row 50 feet worth of carrots and uh, and then in this row is all my flowers so um, yeah they're they're starting to come around we'll see
Tennessee later on. It should be a beautiful display of, of flowers. So I think we're going to take a break and uh, then we're going to work on our shed and garage cleanup. Bought new shelves for the for the shed and we're going to bring the big shelving that we had in the shed into the garage for more of the heavy duty tools. So until then, thanks for coming along on our garden journey and bye for now.